Science. It may look like they're getting ready for just another day out at sea. But these young men are not just preparing to learn more about sailing, but also about the diabetes they suffer from under the supervision of their skipper Philippe Pirard, a trained health worker. Quand on est diabétique, when you're diabetic, you have to check your blood sugar levels. The doctor tells us to do it four times a day. So you prick your finger like this, a tiny drop of blood appears. You put it on the tester, and within five seconds, you get the result. Normally, it's the job of the pancreas to control the levels of sugar in the blood by producing a hormone called insulin. Insulin is normally secreted by the so-called beta cells, but in people with diabetes, these cells are either attacked and destroyed by the immune system or unable to produce sufficient amounts of insulin. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks the beta cells. The cells die and the production of insulin stops altogether. In type 2 diabetes, the beta cells are present in the pancreas but they don't function properly and no longer produce enough insulin. For the past 30 years, researchers around the world have been trying to reproduce these cells in laboratories in order to study and understand beta cell dysfunction. Today, a team led by Professor Schaffman at the French Institute of Health and Medical Research may have found the answer. We created what you can see here on the screen, human beta cells, which produce and contain insulin highlighted in red. So how did these scientists manage to create human cells? We managed to obtain beta cells from a small piece of human fetal pancreas transplanted onto mice, but the quantities were too small. So we added an immortalizing gene to the cells, which then grew inside the mouse. We were then able to remove them from the mouse and put them into a Petri dish. These cells will now be very useful, both in order to understand how they are destroyed or become dysfunctional in some diabetic patients, and maybe one day to help develop new drugs for different types of diabetes. Most diabetics today suffer from type 2 diabetes, a disease linked to being overweight or obese, which has grown into a true epidemic and a national health problem in some developed countries. But help could be at hand thanks to a bacteria called Akkermansia mucinifera, according to Patrice Cani from the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium. We found this bacteria completely by chance. There are some 100,000 billion bacteria inside the human gut. And we have known for a long time that these bacteria help digest food, for instance. In this precise case, we were able to show that the Akkermansia was able to exchange with our human cells and alter the way our organism uses sugar to help combat type 2 diabetes. So we're currently studying the possibility of giving this bacteria to patients suffering from obesity and type to diabetes, and we hope that in a few years' time we'll have the answer to the question, can we give this bacteria in addition to a treatment to combat type 2 diabetes? Diabetes, an illness that requires discipline just like sailing, a lesson these patients will have learnt during their journey at sea with Philippe.